Okay, I want to do one more little simple project that we're going to do today. And as you can see, this is a little, uh, we're going to carve a little miniature folk art chicken. He only stands about four and a half inches high. But this would be a good project for a beginner because it's not real, real difficult to do. And um, so I thought we would do that today. Now, he stands about four and a half inches high, okay? And this is one inch thick, okay? So we're going to carve this little folk art chicken. It's going to be a nice little project, cute little project. And um, we'll... This is, this is more of a beginner project that we are going to be doing. And um, this is a little stand that it sits on. Now, the, the, the pattern, uh, or the, I got off the internet, it's more straight down, but I, I just uh, cut it a little bit to the angle just so that I have a little bit more room for it to stand like that. So, as I said, he's about, he's about um, three, uh, four and a quarter, excuse me, four and a half inches or four and a quarter inches um, high. But this would such a nice little thing for somebody's um, kitchen or something like that to sit there. And, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. All right, the first thing that we definitely want to do is start on the tail. So take your knife let's bring that tail down. We're gonna bring the whole thing down, but I mean I'm gonna come on the other side and do the same thing. Where you take and just kinda now I want to remind you that the grain, of course, for this piece will be running this way. You want your grain to be running this way on the project. Okay? All right. Now we're going to separate where the chicken fits on the little base or These are cute little projects for, um, uh, doesn't take very long, cute little projects for um, kitchens, bathrooms, whatever. A lot of this is, like the folk art stuff is wonderful for um, now what we have is the little underneath the uh, uh, mouth here. We have the little uh, beard, as we might say. And then we've got the little uh, crown on top of the chicken. So let's just sort of take some of this away. Now, if you want to carve it even smaller, you can use three-quarter inch wood. But this is just inch. This is an inch, inch wood that we're using here. Folk art animals seem to be a very good favorite with people. Um, kitchens, uh, bathrooms, uh, houses. There is a craze in folk art right now uh, with people that really like old stuff um, to go in their homes and especially if it looks like it's hand carved uh, we just got through doing the squirrel people really like that kind of stuff for their homes makes it look unique
Okay, now let's look at it real close here. We're going to remove some more wood away from this uh, tail. Kind of move from side to side as you see because you want the tail to be even on both sides. So, okay. Now, let's go ahead and on our top up here, our crown's probably going to be somewhere around in there. In other words, we're just going to, we're going to, and what we want to do is we want to run our knife along here and then very slowly remove some wood from there. Now be very, very careful. Just a little bit at a time. Don't get crazy. I'm doing the same thing here. And from this point to this point, we're going to draw our little, also where our little uh, thing is, and also where our beak is. Our beak is going to come through here, come some down long like here. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's bring that beak down. because it's going to be brought down quite a bit. Because basically the beak's going to have a lot to do with it because that's how we will figure out the position or how much to bring down the head in such a way. So from both sides of the beak, you want to bring down parts in here. Kind of look at it like that. See? You want to bring it down like that. like that okay okay continue to bring the beak down because that will be our center point really of the head okay now we brought it down quite a bit and we're going to shape it just a little bit now. It's, it's kind of thin, so we want to be careful not to thin it up so much that we can't kind of shape it just a little bit. Okay, now let's go from there to our getting this area down. Because this is going to be quite a bit thinner. course we can bring the head down all this is going to be brought down it's way too thick
This is a good project for showing you how to round out things and stuff like that. Okay, I think my time's up for this so far. You go. Mm-hmm.